Greetings True Believers, it's California Collectibles here and today I'm going to share with you guys my huge lot of Marvel Universe figures. I mean this this has been the best weekend I've had so far in collecting. I found so many awesome figures and I just can't wait to share them with you guys. So let's go ahead and start with this. This is an Avengers figure, the Stark Tech Assault Armor that you could see right here and he does include an Iron Man Mark VI. Um, this Iron Man Mark VI, I already pulled this out. Um, the Iron Man has no articulation on his ankles, and it, it's very bare, but it's a decent figure. Um, when I first saw the Stark Tech Assault Armor, I just thought this toy was just for little kids. It didn't. I had no interest in picking it up. I saw a review on it one day on YouTube. Oh my gosh! And I thought it was so awesome, so I had to pick it up. It reminds me of some sort of Hulkbuster. I know it's like a concept figure. But um, it reminds me of a Hulkbuster. It's bulky. It's cool. It has guns. Um, so let's go ahead and crack it open real quick. I'll, sh I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, and here he is out of package. Um, he's, he's quite large compared to the Marvel Universe figure. He's actually the same size as a Marvel Legends figure. So he works well with Marvel Legends. But just look at this armor. We got a blaster here, some sort of cannon. We got more cannons. And we got another cannon. And we got some side guns here, some missiles on his feet. I mean, this figure is just awesome and you guys should definitely pick him up. You guys shouldn't sleep on this one. Um, it reminds me of Exo Squad. A lot of people are saying that it reminds them of Exo Squad also because you could open him up and throw this real quick. You can throw Iron Man right in there. Alright, the first Marvel Universe figure I picked up was this Kitty Pride. Get a good look at her. Pretty decent face sculpt. Um, I passed her up a couple times before, and then it started getting pretty difficult to find her because I didn't like her face sculpt. But this one, she has a really clean face sculpt. The paint looks really nice, and here's the box art pretty cool and the next figure I got um, it's not Marvel Universe it's the Spider-Man line but it's the Hobgoblin really cool figure um, turn offs are no ankle articulation and it looks like he has no neck but I think it's because a cape that he has on is a little too high but I got this figure buy one get one half off so I took advantage of that and got another Spider-Man enemy Rhino look at that face this scope is awesome um, I passed him up a couple times also just because the paint application wasn't good. He'd always have like a spot on his nose that was gray, but I finally found him in good form, so I, I grabbed this one. Um, the next couple figures are Marvel Universe figures. It took me a really long time to find this girl here, and I told my friend John, I said, hey, she'll show up one day. I know she'll show up one day and she did show up for the party and she also brought a friend with her another Psylocke so um, this Psylocke is actually going out to my friend E. Freezy so I'm gonna save this for him for a trade so here it is there's your Psylocke right there and the only bad thing about these two Psylocke's are that they have like a minor they have like a minor band right here on the card that's the only problem that they have. But other than that, they're mint on card. The paint applications are all good on those. I also managed to find a Thor Age of Thunder. Um, he's the better looking Thor out of the group, I think, um, compared to the one with the helmet. This one, his face sculpt is just nice, and he has some cool accessories. His cape looks cool. So... I'm really liking this one. I don't know if he's hard to find, but if he is, I have a second one if anyone wants to trade. I have a second one if anyone wants to trade, so that's that. Um, a couple more figures. I got a lot. I got 11 more, actually. So let's push these out of the way. Alright, here's the next batch of figures, starting with Ronin. Really cool figure. Another one that I passed up before. It got hard to find him, and... Now I found him again. Really happy about that. I got a Grey Hulk. 
you don't see these hulks much. Um, you don't see them around much anymore, the gray or the green hulk. But look at that skull, big bulky figure, gray original hulk. That's how he originally was, if you guys didn't know. You guys probably know about that. Um, Translucent Iceman. Super happy about this one. This is a cool figure. I can't believe I found him. And another translucent figure. Here he is, guys. Check him out. I am a huge Spider-Man fan. I didn't like Iron Spider-Man, the figure. I just didn't like his concept. Um, but look at this figure, man. How, how can you pass this up, seeing this in the store? Translucent. He looks awesome. And he brought a friend with him to the party. Another translucent Iron Spider-Man. So this one... Um, may be up for trades i don't know i might hold on to him just because he's so rare and it's just such a cool figure to have um keeping with the translucent theme we got the human torch really cool figure another hard to find marvel universe figure another Human Torch. Really happy that I got doubles of these really hard to find figures. Um, FYI, I am not a scalper. I do not resell these. I trade them to other tra um, other collectors for other hard to find figures. You know, so it just makes it easier on on trade value. But I do not resell them. If I don't need them, I'll return them. All right. On that note, we got Mystique here really dope sculpt um, on her face and her paint applications awesome and look at that body such a nice body sculpt if you can see already and um, she comes with the giant gun so that's cool it's really cool um, another hard to find Marvel Universe got Ghost Rider awesome Ghost Rider I'm really happy with this one um, I was trying to find the Marvel Legends Ghost Rider for the longest time but you know what this satisfies the void. It really does. Um, he has his translucent whip. His face sculpt is awesome. Awesome face sculpt. And I'm not going to open him up. So he just looks cool just like that. And there's the box art. You see that? Okay. And lastly, um, for my Marvel Universe, we have room here. I got Thanos been looking for this guy for a long time I was even close to purchasing him online but I found him what is that infinity gauntlet right there really cool figure and you know what he's hard to find so I got two of them so if anyone needs him he's up for trade um, yeah and here we go, we got a couple more things. I saw these at Target on clearance for about three bucks. Let me back up for you guys. For about three bucks, I got a Wolverine mask and the Thor helmet. I know they're kid size. It's kind of funny to buy these role playing items, but um, I was thinking me and my girlfriend could be Marvel characters for Halloween, so might as well pick them up. I thought this mask was awesome. I put it on and it hurts my face. I'm guessing because it's made for little kids. So I'm going to re definitely return this. It's only $3. And I got this one for $3 also. This one looks really cool. I think my girlfriend's going to wear this for Halloween. Really nice stuff. Okay. Um, not Marvel related. But I did pick up a couple Hot Wheels. Here we go. We got three Hot Wheels for you guys. We got the the bone shaker. We got the Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. We got it in gray and we got it in white. I originally purchased it in gray, but when I saw this white one, um, I had to pick it up. It just looks too awesome. Blue and white. Blue is my favorite color, so. I like the blue and the white, how they mesh well together. So yeah, I think that's everything. That is all of it.
All right, here is everything. This is my haul for the weekend. Here's a closer look. Everything I'm going to be keeping. A lot of tote figures. I'm so happy. I will return that mask. Keeping that one. And this Psylocke right here is saved for you, E-Freezy, so let me know. Let me know what's up. Take your time, man. Sorry, my room's a little dirty. But, um... These ones are for trade. These figures are for trade. Translucent Iron Spider-Man, Human Torch, Iceman, Thanos, and Age of Thunder Thor. So let me know what's up, guys. As always, thanks for watching and supporting, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.